Hey girls and guys, they decided from Sai Let's Play and today we are playing a nap called Love Princess Vampire Story Be a New Girl. So from what I gathered is basically we have a vampire girl who's new at school and she is just trying to fit in and be like the rest of the other girls. But let's see what is going to happen to this girl. She seems to have a crush on that guy and he keeps winking at her so he seems to like her too. Hey girl. Oh. I'm Rebecca and I'm a vampire princess. I do not want to continue my endless and boring life at Vampire Kingdom. Ooh, so she's like, I am done being a vampire. I just want to be a human. Okay, all right, I understand that. Snuck out of the castle to be a part of the human world. Then again, I can't survive in sunlight, so I looked for a witch to help. Witches can always be helpful. People are scared of them because usually they're evil, but sometimes they could come in handy. Gave me a magic stone that allows me to walk in the sun. All right, so with her magical stone, please don't lose the magical stone, okay? I already have a feeling she's gonna lose it. Mm-hmm. It's bound to happen. I guarantee it. She's gonna lose the stone, isn't she? Girl. Finally, oh. I took a major step to my dream life. I collected the stone and the magic lotion from the vampire witch, and I made a beautiful necklace from it. So okay. I appear as a normal human in the sun. All right, and hopefully you won't have those scary fangs anymore because they might creep some people out. I'm not trying to judge you. But you never know. Some people might see that and get scared. She's so we're so we're gonna make the necklace look super nice, super casual and stuff because she's gonna have to wear it all the time. So we don't want her walking around with something ugly. So that's really cute. There we could go with something super simple. I personally kind of like that with the two. So there we go. Now for the stone. All right, it's time to get all DIY. So what pattern do we want? Whoa, that looks kind of cool. I might go with that one there. No, that one. That one. Nope. That one. There we go. And now... Ooh, I didn't notice a little top part. <gasps> Whoa, that looks really cool. The heart does look cute, but it's a little too big for my taste. We've got a little bat. We don't want it to look suspicious, you know? The little butterfly pendant is also really adorable. So now for the actual hanging part of the necklace, that looks nice. I want something that's not too like old fashionedly, fashiony looking. I want something a little bit more modern. So I think I might just do that pendant there. I did like that one, but I like the fact that this one is gold, so it matches, you know? So we're gonna keep that. Wait, let's see. Is there any nice silvery ones? No, I think the butterfly is still my favorite, to be honest. So we're going to go with that one. And now for the stone. Oh, can we make the stone just like a dark color? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I want to go with a different color, actually, like a blue. But will that stand out too much? No, that actually looks kind of nice. All right, we're going to go with the blue. Definitely. <gasps> Wait. No one told me there was sparkles and glitter. So we're definitely going to go with sparkles and glitter. So we're going to go with this, this shade of blue right here. There we go. Perfect. Nice little bling bling girl. Oh, that looks cute. And now... Make it more special. Oh, whoa, we're going with lots of jewels. I didn't know we're going to go... I don't, I don't think we should go with that many jewels, to be honest. I think... The less the better, but the, the little dangly ones look nice, like the little chain. I think that's the best one. It's the most subtle. So we're going to go with the chains. And then even more dangly parts. Um, more chains. Yeah, and then it all links up to the center. Very cool and mysterious. And now we need to make the potion. So we need this one here. This blue one and then this orange one stir up this potion so she could finally live her life and be a human girl so let's go ahead and put that on there excellent all right oh whoa Dear princess, oh you must keep this necklace with you wherever you go i'll keep it with me everywhere All right, thank you, witch. I appreciate all your help. You're very kind to me. <gasps> She's finally gonna get to be a human. It's kind of like when Pinocchio turned into a real boy. All right, so she has her potions now. She has her necklace. She cannot lose it. 
Whatever you do, please do not lose your necklace, Rebecca. Oh, it's hard to believe that I can now walk in the real human world. Yes, you can. The of all is that I enrolled into a human high school. I have to hide my vampire characteristics and look normal. So the first thing you need is a makeover, girl, because you can't walk around looking like that. I mean, you're beautiful and everything, but you can't make it obvious. So let's start off with your hair. Hairstyle first. So we're br gonna brush it. Hairstyle first. Get it real nice. There we go. Perfect. There you go. Ah, you know what? I'm kind of sad that you dyed her hair blonde. I kind of like the whole like pink hair thing. So that's oh kind of my vampire veins still show up. All Wake right, up. so let's get rid of her vampire veins. There we go. Perfect. And then let's give you some nice little makeup. You know, make you look real cute. So it's her first day of high school. So we want subtle makeup, nothing insane, you know? Nothing too crazy, even though these colors are really nice, I'm not gonna lie. That's a cute color. I know I just said I wanted to go subtle, but I mean, that is a nice color. Oh, this is like a nice little multi-color look. Very nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that one. I know, I know, I said subtle, but I mean, that's a cute color. So now, no sparkles. I am not team sparkle for the eyelashes. Definitely not. Oh, but that is very cute, girl. There you go. Yes, you slay. And now we need to give you some lipstick. No, I'm not gonna give you red lips, all right? No red lips. We want something that's as close to your natural lip color as possible. Oh, actually we might have to go red because we can't have you walking around with yellow lips. We're gonna go with the hot pink, I think. Oh, wow, okay, uh, okay, let's not do that. Mm -mm. We're gonna go with hot pink, there we go, let's see. I mean, it's a lot, it's, it is a, it's a lot. So I think because the pink is the most subtle, I think I'm gonna change her eye color. She kind of looks a little bit, um, it's a bit too much. It's just what I'm gonna say, it's a little too much too much so we're just gonna go with that pink and see how that looks she looks like a barbie now Bag of tricks. okay i'm gonna try one more color and that's it let's go with the orange i was kind of nervous about it but i think it'll look good i don't hate it i don't hate it all right there we go your cheeks right now first time blush ow i just kind of really hurt myself there um there's, we have like a peachy color. That's like a two-tone pink. That's cute. That's cute. That one's even better. Girl, do you have highlight on? Because your cheeks are glowing. Okay, there. You're done. But you have to have better clothes than that. Okay, because I'm pretty sure that tank top is not going to be appropriate for high school. It's not going to be part of the dress code. You're going to get in trouble, girl. Trust me. Okay, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you live your dreams of being a normal human girl. So, oh, here we go. Dress up time. Huh? Normal human girl wear. I'm scared that I'll overdress to school. This is too much of a headache. Can you help me? Don't worry. I have. I got your back. I'm gonna make sure you don't look over the top. So she wants to. She wants to look casual. Nothing crazy. And we have to remember, she's going to school. That's a really cute shirt. That's cute too. But I kind of feel like she's hinting that she's a vampire too much. So let's try a slouchy top and let's see what kind of bottoms we have. See if we could come up with something better. So, okay, that skirt is way too much. It's like, that's cute. Just a nice denim skirt. You know, you can't go wrong with a denim skirt. There we go. And then, oh, we could try a dress as well. So let's try a dress and see. Mm, not really a fan of the dresses. Not a fan. Can I try, can I switch it back? I mean, that skirt is really pretty, but it's just too over the top for high school. And then, first. let's see if that just black t-shirt works. That works as well. That one's kind of cute too. I don't know why I'm really into that shirt, because I kind of feel like she's like real chic, you know? Real like stylish. So now we need some shoes. We could go with the reds and she's like, you know, I kind of like her outfit. It's kind of comfortable. It's her own little style. I know a lot of people won't like it, but I think now that's what makes it cool. You know, the fact that she's got her own personality here. Let's go with a white purse, you know, or a blue one if you want. Okay, 
go with the blue. Hmm, red? No, we'll go with white. There we go. I now look like a normal high school girl. Yes, you do. Thanks to me, I helped you out. You're welcome. Don't worry, I'll help you for free. If anyone needs fashion tips for high school, hit me up. So it's time to continue on to her normal high school journey. So let's go on to the next stage. So is this actually gonna be like her going into school? Cause I'm kind of nervous for her. Oh! Hey, are you new? <laughs> well, yes I am. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Mike. Hey Mike, how you doing? This school's totally fresh to me. <laughs> no one says that. Oh, really? I thought every school was the same without much difference. Never mind. I will show you around later. Oh, he's offering to show us around. Okay, the only thing is I don't want her to say this school is fresh. No one says the school is fresh. Okay, you were trying to be a normal high school girl. No normal high school girl talks like that, okay, Rebecca? Sweet girl locker. Okay, so we're gonna try to decorate our locker to make it look super cute. So let's find a nice pattern that we like. So far, I don't like any of these patterns. Nope. Uh, yep, I'm sure. I want to start over. So let's try some of like the stickers and stuff then. Oh my gosh, how cute is that one right there? So we're gonna put that one there. All right, she's really out to prove that she is a vampire, isn't she? Any chance she gets, she wants to put vampires everywhere. Oh my gosh, I have to put a cute little cat as well. And now let's color the lockers. Oh my, that's a really cute color. I do like that like tealish color there as well. All right. Ooh, the blue looks nice. Okay, we're gonna go with the blue. Oh, look at the cute little stickers. Perfect. Okay, look, I'm not saying giving gifts is a bad thing, but if you showed up to school as a new person and you started giving gifts out to people, people will kind of look at you like, why is she giving me a gift? I know I would, I'd be like, that's real kind of you, but why? Are you trying to poison me? You know, I'd be kind of concerned. But she wants us to give him a gift, then okay, go ahead and give him a present. Okay, and hopefully he likes it and doesn't find it weird. Take the books to class. All right, so we're not taking the books to class, we're putting the books away. There we go. And now, for your phone. Oh, wait, what? Here's my contact. Oh, he got his number. Okay, Mike, hey. Thank you for giving me your number. I'm not gonna call you. No, I'm just kidding, maybe, I don't know. Rebecca might like you. She might give you a call later. I really like her outfit though, I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks cute. Okay, so we did make a friend, which is good. It's always good when you go to school and you make a new friend and stuff, especially when you're the new kid. You're always nervous that no one's gonna talk to you and stuff. So at least she has Mike. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, yes. oh I'm really sorry. This is my first time playing volleyball. I don't know how to play. Oh my gosh. Rebecca, seriously, it's the first day of school and you're already embarrassing yourself in front of your crush. Oh, this is definitely not good, Rebecca. You're gonna have, look, look. How did one ball do all this damage to this poor guy? So let's take them off. Come on, put these in there. And the last one. I knew vampires were strong. I didn't know they were this strong though. Let's go ahead and pump this up a little bit. There we go. Come on all the way. Excellent. Now let's get this on his forehead to get the swelling down. There we go. Perfect. My gosh, Rebecca. Good first impression. Definitely not. <laughs> Okay, I can't believe she did that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> at least she was able to help him get better though. At least, at least. Ah, <sighs> are we done with the first day of school? Oh. Hello, Rebecca. Can you come to the music room later today? Oh. Okay, anything in particular? Just come. It's a secret. I'll see you later. He's gonna be a vampire too, isn't he? I guarantee he's gonna be a vampire too or something. Let's go ahead and continue brushing all this. Brush that away as well. Perfect. So we're gonna turn the speakers up. Is he gonna play her a song or something? Okay, oh. 
So let's go ahead and paint this. He better not be confessing his love already because they just met and that would be kind of weird. You know? So we're going to put that there. Maybe put a little plane, like the plane flying in the clouds and stuff. And then we're going to make it... No, I don't like that plane. Can we start over? Thank you. Alright, so we're going to make this a teal and it's going to say... Surprise! Look at that. It doesn't look like surprise, but that's what it's supposed to be saying. <laughs> that's a horrible sign. Right. Where does this go? Oh, it's gonna go on the floor. Alright, why don't we put some spotlights? That'll look better, right? Definitely. And then a guitar. Wait. He has to impress his girl. He just said he has to impress his girl, but they're not even together. Is he going to confess his love to her? Because they just met. Because he's rocking out. Like, he's really getting into his guitar, serenading her. Oh. Rebecca, I like you. Can you be my girlfriend? Oh! Uh! But I'm a vampire girl. Should I agree to be his girlfriend? No. Human boy with vampire girl? No, don't agree to... First of all, I guarantee it turns out Mike is, is a vampire. Second of all, you literally just met him, Rebecca. You cannot just go out with him already. Oh my gosh. She's like known him for like five minutes. Like, he was like, hi, you're new around here. I'll show you around. Five seconds later, hey, you are cute. You want to be my girlfriend? Like, what? No! Oh my gosh. So who agrees with me right now? Raise your hand if you agree with me that it would be way too soon for Rebecca and Mike to start dating. Raise your hand. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think it is a little bit too soon. So let me know in the comments down below. Am I right that they're rushing this? Or am I just being too grown up? Hmm? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, you guys, I hope you guys had fun watching. As always, I have a link to the game down in the description below if you want to check it out and all that good stuff. I hope you had fun watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!